What's up? Got a Kaiser. Mm, kind of spins. Got to be aggressive with it, though. Uh, this is a Matanzas. Matan Matanzas. I don't know. Nick Swans is a designer. This one's an S35VN and a titanium handle. Mm, almost three and a half inches. I don't know. Let's get in here. Come on, man. Let's check it in so we can check it out. Let's see what's going on. Not sure, but I think I bought it new, but maybe it was used. No, nah, it's new. Yeah, come on. Pretty, pretty cool. I've been excited for this one. This is one which, I mean, hopefully they all are, that when I look at them, I go, oh, I like that one. Look here. Lots of hardware, and it's all been dabbed with Loctite. Pretty sure that's every screw except the pivot. Yeah, nice. All right, let's get this out of the way. Come on, man. I'm mean, going to be looking at screws and cleaning cloths and, you know, all that stuff. Boxes. Hey, I asked a question before, man. Should I be unpackaging these? And the answer was resoundingly yes. I guess it, it leaves it somewhat like you're part of the newness of it, which I get it. Yeah, I want to be part of that premiere too. Look at this thing. This is kind of odd. It's got these risers for the pocket clip. It's kind of different. Mm, kind of springy. I don't know how much tension that's going to have. We'll see. Nice micarta. Man, let's see that blade. Ooh, stiff. I don't think I was locking myself out, but I might have. Let's try it again. Yeah, I was locking myself out. Let's do it again. Ooh, the action on this thing. Yeah, so this has two blade shapes, and the other one has a recurve. And so, I, man, I've been looking at this knife for a long time, and the one with the recurve is fairly readily available. This one, not so much. And so I waited it out until I found me one. Mat Matanzas. An S35BN. KI4510A3. And uh, is that a coating on that blade? I think it is. Yeah, it's got it's got some kind of some kind of coating on it. The drop action on that thing. Ooh, wow, is that good? Pretty good coming out of there too. Okay, had a little interruption there. No worries, but the uh, micarta insert is shadow boxed in there, really nice. I'm guessing it's going to be glued in there because the, uh, there's only one screw that would hold it down, and that's there. But we'll find out. Full titanium, frame lock. I really do like the action. It's got that fuller on it, but that's useless. That's not going anywhere. Yeah. Pretty cool. Man, let's get in it. See what's going on. Got a T8 there. Wasn't super tight. Uh, is that a T8? A little titanium collar. Nah, everything's T6 from there out. Okay. No worries. Yeah, that, that little riser on a pocket clip. It's a pretty unique feature. I can't think of another knife that has something like that. I'm thinking maybe maybe I'm familiar with like a cold steel that has that. I'm trying to think. I don't know. Oh, look at this uh the stop pin. Interesting. So they flattened one side of it. They sure did. They flattened the side that's making contact. 
So, nah. I wonder why they did that. That's interesting. I've never seen that before on a pivot. It's kind of dirty in here. And I think the reason is is because they they greased it. They didn't oil it. They greased it. And that grease is dirty. It attracts dirt. Anyways, man, let's clean it up. We'll put it back together. I do like this coating. Kind of matches the uh, the titanium. And yeah, that uh, this micarta, that's not coming out of there. There's no access point at all. So clearly it, it must be glued in there, be my guess. Well, it has to be. I guess it doesn't have to be, now I'm thinking about it. It could be held in with the one screw, the pivot screw. But I don't think so. All right, let's keep going. The detent was money, so I'm not going to mess with the detent at all. Yeah, everything was running very well on the knife. I am noticing that there's quite a bit of wear on the titanium in here where the stop pin would be running. Huh. Interesting. I wonder if it's if it's riding on there. I don't know. I don't know. Alright. Let's keep it moving, man. Matanzas. Sort of looks like Kansas, but it's Tansas with a Z. Matanzas. I think you already know. Anybody that's hanging out know I don't fuss over those details. I say stuff. I, I'll call the knife the wrong name a hundred times. The same thing on the designers. I don't mean no disrespect. You know, it's not like, oh, your name's goofy, and so I'm going to say it a stupid way. No, it's not like that at all. It's just, I don't know. Unless you want to, you know, like, you look in the dictionary and it it shows pronunciation for a word. If you want to do that and send it along, then I will make the effort to pronounce it correctly. But, I mean, just sitting here blind, um, trying to figure out how to pronounce some of these words, mm -mm. nope, it's just going to come out how it comes out, my man. Or lady. I mean, uh, there's ladies designing some awful cool knives, too, so... Um, yeah, so I'm sure I'm saying this wrong. Matanzas, I, you know, that doesn't even sound like that should be the name of a knife, but that's what I called it. Okay. Caller. I mean, pretty basic design. And it didn't look like any of that was captured, but everything held really well and went back together. Wasn't any struggle for that at all. Get these body screws in. Scale screws, body screws, handle screws. Again, I I call stuff the wrong name so much. I guess it could be irritating, man. I'm pretty sure that there's, you know, there's a contingency that pronunciation is very important and the right name, the right, you know, all that. And I get it, you know. It's just not important to me. All right, here we go. Might be a little tight on that pivot, but, ooh, it's just nice. I mean, it, it looks nice. I don't, you know, I don't know if that makes sense to you, but 
But looking at this knife and the profile, the blade, it's a, it's like a harpoon. But, I mean, just the way that that all comes together, it looks like it should run nice. Looks like it should run the way that it's running. It's got this huge fuller. I think I mentioned it before. This huge fuller on both sides that's useless. <laughs> you can't use it for nothing. I think I am going to check this pivot. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of tight. Let's see what we got there. I think I locked myself out on that one. Whew, man, is that nice. It's locked up really well. I didn't mess with it, but we'll check it. Yeah, it's in good shape. Drop shut. Centered blade. It's got good jimping here. I can fail it. Obviously, I just proved it out there. Well... That didn't fail. I'm not sure why I failed the first time. Let me get off the lock bar for sure. And then see if I can fail it. Nope. Let's try that again. Nope. Yeah, so I think you can push button this. Yeah, it's pretty much a light switch. Whew, man, is that nice. Wow. So the action on this, let's just cover that action and we'll get to the ergonomics. But the action on this, I mean, I think it's really easy to lock yourself out though. Because it, look at where this lock bar is. I mean, it's right where you want to drop your fingers. And like that finger right there is on that lock bar. Now, can I get past it? Yep. If I get higher, if I'm up here. Yeah, see, that's when it catches me. And that's when I fail it is if I... If I catch that lock bar too high, if I stay down on it, I'm okay. And it's not an awkward spot. So just to throw that out, like I'm not awkward where I'm at. I think to be the awkward spot would be way up there. If I'm holding on up there with those two fingers, both of these on this lock bar right here, I think that's an awkward position, but I can get, I could, I even got past that. Wow. Yeah, so the action on this, I mean, I mean, it it could be higher, but just because of the ergonomics, I'm going to say that it's like an A or an A minus. It is really, really good. Drop shut. I mean, what an executive level knife, an executive pocket knife. This is, I mean, that's where this one goes all the time, but I think this one could cross over. This could be a crossover knife could be an executive level knife. And then it, Joe Dirt could easily do this as a ZDC. You know what I mean? I don't think that's an issue at all. This thing's wonderful. Let's talk about ergonomics. So there's not so confident, confident, very confident. I mean, I'm going to come up short of confident. The reason is there's a nice little hollow out here for the finger to lock down in here, the index finger. Just it needed just a little more to keep me from coming over the top if I met resistance and my fingers come over it and now my fingers are up into the blade. So I, I'm just shy of being a confident grip. I mean, it's leaning towards that, but it's going to come up short. It's really locked up nice. Uh, no hot spots. I, I can feel the pocket clip, but it's not hot at all. I feel that back there, but that's not hot. Uh, speaking of pocket clip, let's see how that, it re, you know, it reminds me of I, posts for bridges on a highway. I don't know. Come on, man. There it is. Yeah. Nice profile. Leaves, a, you know, just shy of a half an inch out of the pocket. These screws and that offset. It's pretty neat look. Gives a wonderful uh, purchase. To uh, get that out of the pocket. Comes out of there really nice. Yeah, those two screws right there. Um, I don't know that the grip is going to make it. Yeah. There's not much of a grip here at all. And I think I need to... I'm going to try to fix that real quick.
Okay, so I disassembled all that. It is two little steel spacers. Those are steel. They're not titanium. Everything else is titanium, but then I put a little tension on that clip, and so it's a lot different. So I'm just going to check it in the thin stuff. This is standard size jean material right here. And so, yeah, it's running completely different now. I mean, yeah. Lots of tension on that. There we go. Yeah, solved. My spot back here. There it is. And I I don't think getting it in the pocket would be an issue because if I was one-handed, I would be able to put outside pressure on the knife like so, and I think I'd be able to run it. Boy, it's making me work here, though, isn't it? But, man, once it's in there now, it's got great tension. I think it would be there if I went looking for it. I think I would find the knife right where I left it. So I, I'm going to say the clip's good. Um, it just needed some tension on it. Um, the action's good. The tension on the pocket clip is good. What about safety? Can I get that blade? Nope. Boy, that was ominous, though. Looks like it's right there. But the gap is narrow enough that it's keeping my fat finger up out of there. The tip is recessed. So the clip is good. The tip is good. And then I'm confident that I could have it in my pocket and not have incidental blade contact. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if it's sharp. And then we'll see if we can find it. Yeah, crazy sharp, crazy sharp, wonderful. Uh, price and availability. Okay, I think eBay, eBay is the source, and here's what I'm finding. So the recurve blade, um, there's actually a couple that you can get down around 130. Um, this straight blade version, there's a lot of them now on eBay. Uh, but they're all over $175. They're in that $185 to $200 range for these. Yep. Yeah, so they're out there. Uh, they can be found, but, man, they're selling for a premium. Now, if that recurve doesn't bother you, I mean, it's the exact same knife. It's just got a little recurve here on the blade. I think I saw them for sub-130 bucks. Yeah. So, Kaiser Matanzas, appreciate y'all checking it out with me. Thanks for watching.